Episode one, a new day. Let's go. Oh, by the way, subtitles is on. I meant to do that when I first got it. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tolerated by how you play. Okay. Here we go, guys. Yo, who remembers this game, man? It's like the cinematic. The Walking Dead. By the way, who here has seen the, the series The Walking Dead? I actually never seen it. The only time I've heard of the, I've actually heard of The Walking Dead, not the TV show, but this game specifically. Alright. A new day. Now from what I can remember, we play as this character named Lee. There he is. And he's black. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright. So. <laughs> <laughs> really it's not racist i'm just saying we don't really get that much of a chance we don't get that we don't it's we don't really get that much exposure well, okay i reckon you didn't do it then what did i do oh um using mouse wheel okay i can use see because i never played this on pc um why do you say that why do you say that you know i've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison lord knows how oh, many. i can look around Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. True. And what, yeah, and what do you want me to say? Not for me. Wait, every time actually? Every time? Every time? Every time. Okay. Um, so it seems like I'm getting arrested for some bizarre reason. Do you guys, um, Chad, do you guys know why I'm, do you guys know why Lee is getting arrested? I actually don't know. But actually, wait, actually don't tell me. Do not tell me. Don't. What's it called? Don't don't spoil it, cause I feel like we may learn that later on in this season. So don't tell me. Don't tell me, man. Wait, he killed somebody? Jeez. I hope I just hope I hopefully it wasn't hopefully it wasn't like anything too brutal. You guys let me know. I don't know. Look at the rearview mirror. What am I doing? I'm just he's just taking me to prison. Um the rearview mirror. I followed your case a little bit. You being a Macon boy and all. So you're from Macon? Wait. Uh, you actually no. You're from Macon? You're from Macon then. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like mm. that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed oh, up Oh, okay. So we he already. Respect. He already spills the tea, saying like a murder, so. Whoa. Hell. Family used to be That's regulars weird. at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Yes. Still there? Jeez, sure dude. Good. That's brutal, Aiden. Okay, so they already filled us. Um, they already filled us in on what he's getting arrested for. It's a murder UGA. case. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? Oh, he doesn't want to talk about that. You want to know how I see it? I got much of a choice, really? Like... I got much choice? Sure don't. Because I don't really think I got that much of a choice. Seems like him and his uh, wife didn't get along. Could be you just married the wrong woman. Jeez. Oh. Or she married the wrong guy, maybe. <sighs> Oh, yeah, we're not going to say that. No, that's too wrong. Yo, what is happening? Any of that seem important to you? Yeah, what is going on? House never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. What? I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he mm. just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Are available for incoming to one and okay. before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. Okay. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying do cops really do this? Mama. They just yap no, about it's a random a person that they used to it deal wasn't with? Me. Maybe he was in it. So, wait, actually, did he do it? I want to know. So did he do it? 
They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. Ooh. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Okay. It goes to show. People up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Mm-hmm. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit. Wait, yo, somebody's in the road! Bro, don't look at me! Oh my gosh, yo, watch out! Oh! See what happens when you don't focus on the road. Now you see why I hate driving. Now you see why. What is happening? Yo. See, why was you? I'm not over dramatic, guys. It's just I. <sighs> Whatever. Too much be going on. Just too much be going on while driving, and that's a good example. Okay, I'm alive. Not a single scratch. Oh, I'm still cuffed. Oh, I take that back. Okay, he did get a scratch on his leg. Okay. <laughs> Alright, yo. Yeah, that cop's dead. There's a shotgun there. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Why did he have his gun? What am I looking at? Yo, is he alive? You up, man? Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Yeah, bro, de he's dead, dead. <laughs> um, you're a dramatic. Nope. Um, driving isn't that bad. It's fun with your reactions. <laughs> I see, like I said, it's been years since I played this, and I remember nothing about these episodes. So, I hardly remember anything that's about to go down. Um, oh, also, I forgot to even mention this. Now, earlier today, now, somebody in the previous stream saying was saying, like, hairline reveal or whatever they were saying. But, actually, I fixed that. Look at this. Hold on, you can't really see this, but, yo, look at this. Peep the hair. I don't know if you can peep the haircut, but you see that? Look at that. Peep the hair. Look, don't mind my greasy forehead, okay? Look, I know you're going to say something, okay? <laughs> Peep the cut. All right, hair is always on point. But, you know, fi finally after months dealing with this, look at this. Ooh, okay, look at that. I would, I would, I would give y'all a 360 view, but I'm not trying to do all that extra movement. So, anyway. Oh, snap. Hold on. <laughs> my bad, guys. All right. Let's get back in. <sighs> all right. Oh, let me... Dim my light back down. Okay. So I need I need to get out of here. Um what can I Oh, kick the window. Alright, kick it. Kick it. One more time. There we go. Alright, move forward. Yo. Oh, look at the door. Use the mouse wheel. Use it wait, as an action? I need oh. to drag myself out that window. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. See, because I'm usually used to playing this with a controller, and I was planning on doing that, but I want to get a much better experience with PC controls. Dang, how was he not dead after that? Did he just, like, did he slid across? What happened to him? Oh! Oh, jeez. Oh, my leg. Okay. Bro was limping all over the place. Okay. Oh my gosh. Alright. We're walking now. Um what's this? Oh it's a shot oh a shotgun shell. Can I pick it up? Oh no, I, I can't pick it up. Oh oh I can. Never mind, okay, I can pick it up. Okay, can I pick up the shotgun? The officer's shotgun is over there. Well can I pick it up at least? Can I pick it up? I mean I got a shotgun shell, might as well get a shotgun with it, just in case. Oh, I can pick it up. Looks empty. I have a shotgun shell. I, I can use that. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Ah, okay. All right. So you want me to walk on over to this dead, to this dead corpse to see if he has the keys? I mean, he probably does. Officer? You good, man? God damn. Is it that bad? Dang. Officer. Yo. 
Oh, he has the keys. Of course he has the keys. What am I saying? All right. Don't get up, bro. Give me the keys. Okay. Unlock it. Oh, come on, man. It's right next to his face. How much you guys want to bet he's going to move? I bet you he... I, this dude's going to jump up and bite me. 100%. <laughs> come on. Uh, controller, this is so much better. See, I agree because I really used to play this with controller. Uh, Lee got the D. <laughs> Pause. Come on. All right, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. All right, I'm gonna stop being a wuss for you guys. See, bro. Come on, man. Just pick it up. Pick it up. Okay. All right. And unlock it. There we go. All right, we're good to go. All right. Unlock it. I don't know why you can't just unlock both in one go. Wait. Yeah, he's not dead. Officer. Is he breathing? Oh my god! Whoa! Holy shit! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh! Get back! Okay. Wait, the shotgun! Wait, I, I need it, I need it! Bro, get the shotgun! Get it, get it, get it! Bro, where's the shotgun? Pick it up, pick it up! Oh my god! <laughs> Bro, get, put it in, put it in, put it in! Oh my god, Lee! Why do you have such butter fingers? Get it, get it, get it, get it! Get it. Pick it up, pick it up! Come on! Shoot him! Don't make me do this! Come on, and... Bop! <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> oh man i didn't i don't remember there being jump scares in this wait camera time let's call some over there help go get someone there's been a shooting um i don't think i shouldn't have done that as I can remember, noise attracts them. Oh man, bro, my my hands are my hands are sweating right now. Okay. Oh my no. Oh snap. My leg, bro, just run it off. Be like Spider-Man. Oh. Bro, be like Spider-Man, bro, just run it off. Come on. Oh my god. Oh. Alright, forgive me. The, the game's a little buggy. Forgive me on that. Come on. Come on, get up! Get up! Get up! Come on, man. Bro, jump the fence. Jump the fence. Bro. Oh my gosh. Jump, jump, jump the fence! Get up! Get up! Oh my gosh. They, yeah, they can't get through that fence. Okay, there we go. Yeah, they can't get through the fence. Man, Miles really went downhill. <laughs> Man, Miles really went downhill after Spider-Verse. <laughs> oh, there's gunshots. Yeah, there you go. Go over there. Alright. Oh my gosh. We're already, what, like 20 minutes in? Oh my gosh. Okay, so it seems like we're in this uh, beautiful, Hello? somewhat decent neighborhood. Yo, this place is deserted. Okay. Oh, oh, I can move. Okay. Yo, look at this, bro. Okay. Uh, what can I do? Um, there's a gate over there. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. No, it's not a good idea to freaking. Go out into the neighborhood. It's not a really good idea. So we're gonna have to go somewhere else. Treehouse. Talk to the treehouse. I can Help! talk to it. Oh, I can talk to it. Is somebody in there? Hello. Who's in there? Wait, where's Clementine Anybody at? Up there? Wait, where's Clementine? I wonder where she is. I don't know where she is. Well, it's a tea set. Okay, let's go in the house. All right, I'm not. I'm not coming in to rob you. Just, I just need some help. My leg, you know, it's it's kind of damaged, and I'm thirsty. I just, I need something. Okay, I'm not trying to break in. You'll see. All right, oh, I just, I hope she's all right. Hello, anybody home? I need a little help. That's what I was saying. Yeah, I just, I need a little bit of help. All right, just wandering into somebody's house. Okay. Oh, don't tell me it's jam. Oh, there we go. Okay. Coming in. 
Don't shoot, okay? Don't shoot. Don't shoot me. I am totally unarmed. I am I am injured. I just need some help. Ah. Jeez. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Or one of them walkers. Oh my gosh. These people may need more help than I do. You don't say. Okay. Um, bro, look at that pool of blood there. Oh, ex pool of blood. Let me let me look at this. Where is this from? Jesus. All right. Hopefully that's not human blood. What's this? Oh, a coloring book. So just a coloring book. Oh, what is that? What? It oh, it's this. Maybe An answer machine. Something on there. Wait. Okay. Let Let's see what we got. There's something on here. Three new messages. Voice messages. Message one. Left at five okay. forty-three. All right, hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two. The, okay, this must be her parents. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Oh, no. Rest in peace. Daddy? <gasps> huh? What? What was that? Wait. What just. What was that? Um. Oh, a cup of water! Oh, I should've went in the kitchen first. All right, let me pick that up. There we go. Hopefully that water wasn't dirty, but, you know, something's better than nothing. No food, no nothing. But what was that? No what? That's not anything? Okay. Um, something here? Oh, it's a walkie-talkie. Somebody there? Hello? You need to be quiet. Um. Who is this? Oh, yeah, who, who is this? Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is oh. Leo's. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Okay. You are not my daddy. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I, clearly. Hey, Hydro! Thank you so much for the follow, ma'am. Okay, um, where are your parents? What, no, actually, how old are you? How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Eight years yes. old? I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh... Fifty. Thirty-seven. Okay. <laughs> um, where are your parents? Where are your parents? They, they took did. a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Oh, where the geez. boats are. Um, are you safe? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. Mm, okay, so see? they were. So she was in the treehouse. Can tree you house. see me? I can hey. see you through the window. Hey. Hey, coming time. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no. Uh oh. Uh, uh, what do I do? Oh, snap. Oh. Oh. Uh. Get off me! Get off me! Come on! Oh! <laughs> Bro got mired up in the back of the head! Oh my god, that hurt! Get up! Come on! Oh, dude! I don't even know if he can recover from that head! Ah! That hurt! Oh no! Get off! Oh no no no! Ah! Get off me! Get off! Oh my god! Give me that. Oh, give me that. Give me that. All right. Thank you, Clementine. All right. Oh, better get smashed. Come on. What's up? And then. And then. Come on. One more time. One more time. 
Oh! Okay. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I'm sweating already. Man. Oh my gosh. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. We're alive. Did you kill it? It's dead. Mm hmm. It's dead. Yes. I had to double tap. I had to it's triple okay. tap it. I think she was a monster. You think? Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. Oh. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. Lee's a true man right there. What should we do now? What should we do? Look for help before it gets dark or get out of here once the sun goes down. Now, I already have my answer here clearly. Now, you guys, being the trolls that you are, you want us to go outside in the nighttime and get bodied by, like, a million walkers. We're not doing that. So, yeah, let's, um, let's look for help because we can't go out there by ourselves. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah. It's not safe at night. Definitely not safe. Let's go. Stay close to me. Stay close. Yo, I don't know. Why would you want to arrest Lee, though? Like, he is such a good man for that. Because he could have just left Clementine in there to die or whatever. Or to die of hydration or starvation or anything. Because I, I know you guys would have done the same thing. I know you guys would have at least tried to help her. All right. Hold on, Clementine. Slow down. Come on, man. 37-year-old man can't walk. All right. Come on. Oh, jeez. All right. Oh, oh, there's people out there. All right, let's get to the gate. Wait, open it. And get to the gate. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. <laughs> oh, it's hot dish night. All right. Open the gate. Come on, Clementine. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Um, I won't leave you alone. I can't. I won't leave you alone. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? Yeah, let's that's do that. A good idea. Very good idea, Clem. I'm just covered in blood right now. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Oh, no. Definitely for not. Uh, what's going on? Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then. Jeez. You could say that. I'm uh, Sean. Sean Green. Sean. Hey, this Sean is Green. Clementine. I'm Chet. Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. Hold on now. Be safe. Uh, don't I'm get it twisted. I'm not her dad. Uh, what am I? Um, her babysitter. Her babysitter. Her yeah. parents are out of town. Yeah. Let's don't, get going. Don't, Stay I'm just saying, don't get it twisted. Mistake. Okay. What do you want to do? I make a smart choice, Clem. The monster's coming. Oh, yep. You cannot stay here, Clem. Quick, let's go. Oh, come on, come on. Time to go. Time to go. Come on, push. Come on. Oh, go, 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 go. Push, go, push. Oh, there you go, Clementine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on. One more time. Oh. All right. Go, 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 go. Get in the truck. Get in the truck. Get in. Oh, drive. Yow. As babysitters go, I'd say your parents owe you a tip. Oh, they definitely. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Oh, man. Yo, who's all right? Y'all, let me chat. Let me know if you're liking this so far.
I thought you said no to two men and then you just map. If they're trying to help you, then yeah. I'm gonna run on home. That's Mom's true. They kind of bad. Yo, Hydro. Right, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. <laughs> it was nice to meet you both. That was not Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, breaking down the way, things as mayor's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. Yeah, the chat right now. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Mm hmm. We need a place to stay. Well, actually, no, no, no we, we need some help. need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Mm hmm. Ouch. <sighs> yeah. It's not doing so good. <laughs> I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Okay, I appreciate that, brother. Ah, <sighs> man, hydro flask. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Yeah, you don't say. It hurt. It hurts. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. Yeah. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Why would they give me an option for that? Like, that's so rude of you to not introduce yourself. How'd this happen? And some nuts gonna hurt like hell. <laughs> you don't say, uh, car, car accident. accident. That's so. Where are you headed? Before the car accident. Ooh, uh, I was, uh, I was heading home. home. Where's home? I Where's grew home? up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. I was with no one. Nobody. Is that so? Yes. yes. It is. Don't you snitch, guys. We. That's all. Chat, we don't now snitch. Pull up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Mm -hmm. Um. Looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. <laughs> Snitches get kisses. I don't know about that. Uh, your, your son's, son's right. right. We should do that. Fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Let's call it a dead cop. Uh, dead people I just got walking. Chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. We're gonna do it. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your nice. leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. I hope what not. You then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll yeah, clean it, redress uh, it, and we'll be fine. I don't think Clementine's okay, okay with that. That'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. <sighs> I hope that, I really do, I really do hope that's not an infection. I mean, can you get an infection, like, if a zombie, well, yeah, if a zombie bites you, but what if it scratches you? It like, same thing? It smells like... Like... <laughs> Like, uh, you know. I know what it smells like. Yeah. Duty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I miss my mom and dad. I'm sure you do. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Um... 
play um, The Wolf Among Us. Yep, I definitely plan on streaming that as well. I have it, and that's going to be on the do list. So, yep. <laughs> Am I hallucinating? <laughs> How did I get a nightmare that fast? Okay. But, yeah, definitely, um... We will definitely be playing hey, the Wolf Among Us soon. Whoa. What an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet Come on, don't scare from the time like that. Away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Yeah. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle Kenny. of the fence. There's a tractor and everything. Oh, there's another kid. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck. Uh. <laughs> Dodging or quacking? Dodging or quacking. Dad! See? Ooh, excuse me. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Hmm. Uh, yeah, well, maybe. We'll see how things see turn how out. things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. 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 That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. <laughs> on the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I like Duck already. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. <laughs> since when do you have a thing for Duck? Well, not, not Duck! When, since when do you have a thing for Kenny? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I trouble. <laughs> oh you my gosh. Pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Uh be sure to check in with everyone you've met so far. Okay, so this is the part where we start interacting with everybody. And you know what? Let's also take this time to uh snack on a few um fruit snacks. And don't make fun of me, I use scissors to open them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Alright, you let me, you guys uh chat, let me know what you guys are snacking on. You guys let me know. Mmm. That is so good. Yo, but let, but yo, chat, let me know. Is Welch's or Gushers better? I wanted to get Gushers, but I just thought these are like these these are somewhat more flavorful and they're a lot more healthier than Gushers. But oh my days, Gushers, like when you just bit into them and they just bust in your mouth. Not like that. Don't make it sus, okay? I'm I'm looking at you. Don't make it sus. <laughs> Why did I just do that? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Mmm. What's up? What's up so far? Mmm. So. Mmm. Your eye is good. And I got some cranberries as well. For garnish, if I makes any sense. Mmm. Alright. Let's talk with some people. I, right, um. What's her name? Hatja. I have never heard of that name. It's a unique name, but let's talk to her. Hey there, girls. Hmm. You two look related. Um, actually, well, how was the city? I want to know. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. Mm. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Yeah. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want to go back? Anybody in their right mind would. Families of barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. And fruit snacks. <laughs> those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Um, what do you do? I'm not gonna ask, um, I'm not gonna ask about the whole related, uh, thing. Wait, wait, oh, I didn't say related, I, I said you two actually look relaxed. Um, what do so, you do? Uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? 
I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. Mm. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Um, my mistake. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. We will. You two actually look relaxed. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, um, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. Of course it's easy. So, you're good? Anyway. It's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Okay, okay. Yo, chat. Yo, yo, chat. Um, who also loved first grade? I mean, me personally, I love fifth grade more. Um, you should stream so you should stream some Minecraft survival. But yeah, actually, you know what? I actually really wanted to do that because I know we play Minecraft a lot, and I was actually gonna ask you about that next time we play. I'll play it if we stream it. it. It's just, I don't know how long you plan on being on. I mean, we usually play for like one or two or three hours, but I am definitely down to do that. I am definitely down to smash you in front of so many people. And I'm not talking about <laughs> I was trying to say, you were going to get smashed in PvP. Pause, okay? Massive pause on that, but definitely for sure. But also, after this, um, we're going to be doing The Wolf Among Us, and possibly, I also want to continue Minecraft story mode, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so we talked to them. Um, who else? Oh, Kenny! He seems like an alright dude. Wait, oh, oh, I can't talk to him? Um, well, seems like we can't talk to your boyfriend. <laughs> um, who we got here? Um, that's Duck over there. Um, wait, what was his name again? Oh, Sean. Okay, you gonna smash? No, we're not. Nope, Aiden. Listen, I don't. <laughs> we're not. Gonna... Let me just talk to Sean. <laughs> Sean's still working on that fence. Wait. Oh, wait. Can I not talk to him? Oh, yes, I can. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Okay. Watch me cut myself in this. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Ah. Um, was, was he one of the walkers? Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He Dang, turned, Aiden. You should have done that. Right between the kid's eyes. And pulled the trigger. <laughs> you don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I'm not gonna lie, I, I had to. I... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Um, my parents. My brother and parents are in Macon, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate that. Let's talk to Duck. I mean, Duck seems like he's having some fun. Alright, what's good, Duck? How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I would love to see him I'm do it. Foreman. Lift with your back, Sean! <laughs> Oh, man. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> it's good to see you guys getting along in chat. Okay, uh, let's check out Do the fence. Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. <laughs> 
but yes um hydro i will like i would really like to say it would be cool to have you in one of these streams definitely for sure so minecraft that's gonna be next on the list but like you like you said after this the wolf among us is coming up so stay tuned okay so is that everybody um can i talk to kenny now let me see if i can talk to him maybe i can i just had to get a little closer to him um Jay, your next stream should be a hot tub stream hey listen i don't know what you think this is but this is this is not am this is the wrong channel this is this is not amaranth okay this is no <laughs> you'll give subs i mean subs i don't really know subs i don't really know how that works um keep, keep that in mind um, i'm still i'm still kind of new to this whole uh twitch thing so just bear with me okay subs i'm still trying to learn how that works so but i appreciate that though i appreciate that but it's gonna have to take it's gonna have to take me way more for a hot tub stream i'm just saying i'm trolling but still <laughs> all right um oh i can't talk to him okay let's talk hey to him. there uh kenny okay uh need any help brother need any help no i think i got it do you need any help what do you mean i mean in taking care of that little girl you know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Uh, I don't... Wait, oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, I paused it. Do, wait, Lee does have kids, right? Wait, does he not have kids? I, I don't know. Wait, chat, let me know. Does he have kids? I think he... I don't remember if he does or not. Works better. All right, I guess I'll start streaming. Um, By all means, you go, you go right ahead. I am not stopping you, but... I do believe that he does have kids. Um, so I'm going to say I think or what's it called? Oh, snap. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, At I didn't mean to say honest. that. Shit. I didn't Better mean to say that. I'm not press two. You'll figure it out. OK, how's your son doing? How's your son doing? Good, I think. kachi has got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and Christ, just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's, but we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. I like the sound of that. So what's your plan? So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could... Hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Yo, Aiden Facts. Kenny is a W dad. 100%, man. Okay, um, I guess I... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, somebody's in there. Who is that? I didn't even see him in there. Okay, uh, who we got here? Oh, this is, um, Herschel. Yeah, Herschel. Let's speak to him. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. Uh-oh. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? On foot. Uh, no, wait. On foot. I headed south. Was I on foot? I don't know. That's a long walk. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. Um, you agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents, wife, girlfriend. Hydro sucks to see you. It sucks to see you leave. You, I, I wish you could be here more. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Um, I was looking for help. Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? 
Uh, what is it? What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did. I'm not gonna get so far. to become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. Okay. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. Okay. Oh! What's happening? Wait! Oh, I'll get my gun! What's going on? What is happening? We're gonna go help! What is happening? Oh no, Sean! Oh, do it! Oh! Oh no, no! Oh no! I have to. Don't turn back. Oh my god, no! No, I hate this part! Oh! This is the one part I hate about Telltale games. The choices you have to make, man. Oh no. What do I do, chat? Who who should we sh who should we save? Sean or Duck? Oh man. Who do we choose to save? I don't know who to choose. I mean, Keep in mind, I'm okay. I just met them, and I feel like I'm already getting a little close with Sean. Duck, however, he's a kid, and I don't want him to die at such a young age. That's for me to decide. You know what? We, we gotta save Duck. He's too young. I can't let him die. Oh my god. Save him! Save him! Come on! Get him! Come on! Get him! Come on, Duck! Come on! Yo! No! Bro, I hope. I hope Herschel can save Sean. Pull him, pull him, pull him. Come on. I got you. Let's go. Now, Sean. Right, Sean. Bro. Oh my God. Help me, please. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. He's dead. Well, that's already one victim. I mean, we weren't even close with him to begin with. See, the only time when somebody gets mad is usually when they're close with someone, when they're close with a certain character. Get out. Yeah, he's not happy. Oh, my Get gosh. the fuck out of here! Yo, I'm sweating, yo. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. We couldn't let Doug and die. He's you. too young. You didn't even try to help. What? I panicked. What do you want me to do? I panicked. Look at him. Remember that next time you panic. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Oh, man. That's already the first hard choice we had to make. I mean, like I said, we wasn't hard with the... We, we wasn't close with him, but still, it's it wasn't easy. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. That's oh man. Yo, rest in peace, Sean. Wait, why are we back? Oh, I was gonna say, why are we back at the place? But he did want. Okay, he wanted us to leave, so. It sucks. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Okay. Yo, rip Sean, man. See, Duck, he was too young. We, I just, I couldn't let him die. To lose your son at such a young age, I can't. Look! What do you see? No, that's a walker. Don't go hey to him. There. That's a you walker. Friendly? Trucks run out of gas. No, that's a walker. 100%. Mm -mm. Fuck. Nope. Oh my, how many are here? Oh, jeez. <gasps> oh no. no. Are you sick? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I thought he was dead. I thought he. Oh. Oh, somebody's helping us. 
Okay. So, okay. Every, all right, everybody just go in. Close it. Let's go. Bro, if he didn't lock that in time, oh my gosh. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Do we look dangerous to you? Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We're not dangerous. Just regular folks. What's exactly. dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. Exactly. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? Stay close. What is it? I... I have to pee. Oh no. I go out there again in a, in a minute, Clem. You're gonna have to hold it. In a minute, Clem. Sorry, you're gonna have to hold it. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. I mean, she's Holy not wrong. I just ran out there. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Exactly. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. No, they're not bitten. He wasn't, he wasn't bitten. bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We don't kill him. Hey, don't you over my dead Don't body. you dare walk up. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. He's not bitten. What do we do about this guy? What do we do? Dad, it's just a boy. It's Lily, I'll handle this. Um, Dad. It's him or Duck. You need to calm down. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Exactly. Everyone chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! No, That's he's not! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting Sit me down alive. or else. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and you, one. Oh, you wanna see me try? This one. <laughs> that's good. Now that's Little not ball. that's not funny. Before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Bro, if you don't swing Lee. on him already. Yeah? There's someone in there. Are you it's just locked? Keys behind the counter. Probably. It, hopefully. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She, she won't. won't. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. The first thing you'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on you. He's just a boy. Girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. Stay and away we're from that. Tossing him out now. No, we're not. No. No. You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! What's you up? You have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Come on! <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, no! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on! Hold on. I'm coming, Clem! Move out the way! Lee! Why do you keep... Fuck! The floor's not even slippery! Dude! Come on, Clem! Get away! Get away! Oh gosh! Oh, come on! Oh! Oh! Bro, oh! Bro, I was about to use two fingers. Oh my gosh! That was close. Yo, my fingers are so sweaty. Thank you. You okay? Oh Just my great, gosh! Thanks. <laughs> I thought I was dead. Uh, guys. Oh yeah, I forgot his leg was injured. Okay, gunshots, they highly attract those things. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? 
Who is that? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! You want to continue that sentence? You want to continue that sentence? What's wrong with them? Wait, I told him to calm down. I told you. Did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My uh, pills. Of course. Uh, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Okay. Alright, listen. I don't want to help him, but I'm not that type of guy, so I'll we'll help. I'll do this. Now. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Nit Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. Nitroglycerin pills. See, I'm already going to have a, a right. hard time saying that. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Uh, you know your way around town, man? Because this place seems you know pretty your large. Way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Lily. Keep a good Larry. eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. Doug. And I'm Carly. Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. All you right. got it, boss. Now get him those pills. All right, I got you, Larry. You cranky old man. I got you. Say what you want about Lee, but he is a good man. Yo, 100%, man. Bro was a living legend. I don't care what nobody says. I love you. All right. And now is another time to take another fruit snack. So whenever um, it's time for us to walk around and interact, it's time to take a little bit of a snack break. Ah. All right. So more watches fruit snacks. Cheers, people. Mmm. What's up? <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. All right, um, I'm going for it. All right, that's it. Okay, Doug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there yeah. is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh. Huh. Huh. All right, um. I respect Lee and Kenny always looking out for their kids no matter what. Yo, respect to them too. Kenny and Lee, W dads, man. And I just, I have a feeling later on in season one that we're either going to lose either Kenny or, I don't know, Carly or Larry or anyone, anyone else. Because right now, I'm getting a little close to Kenny and I know eventually, I feel like eventually we're going to get closer to Carly. I don't know. So, let's have a look around. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary Yeah, let's noise. let's not make too much noise. Agreed. So we gotta be careful. Jesus. Yo, if we did not have that thing locked. No. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he just Same here, Doug. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? How? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Okay. So we need to get to the pharmacy, which is... Wait, where is it? Is, is that it over there? I think that's the pharmacy. So, okay, I'm not touching that lock. Um, I mean, I don't know the code, but still, I'm not going to touch it. So there's a walker over there. There's a hardware store over there, and there's a TV store over there. Let's look at this. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. 
Okay. Um, and we got this uh, trapped walker. Look at the one trapped over there. Yo, why is that one kind of? It looks like. What? Oh, that's the pharmacy manager. Oh shit. Oh. What? Do you know that guy? Um, kind he he could be a drugstore employee. He could be a drugstore employee. Is he has a badge. He might have the pharmacy keys. I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. Yes. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. And they start rotting and they'll cheat up and. Shut up, Doc. Okay. Yo, that walker is he... a uniform though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Yeah. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. Yeah. I'll see what I can find. Okay, but yeah, like I was trying to say, that walker, not only is he a pharmacy employee, but he kind of looks like Lee. Like, am I wrong? Like, he actually kind of does. Alright, what about the lock? It's a combination lock. I don't know the code, but from what I do know, or what I can tell, is that he might have the keys. He might have them. It's doing what locks do. Oh, okay, good. Okay, I can unlock it. It's good, because I don't want I didn't want to unlock it in the first place. Um. <laughs> Alright. TV store. Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Yeah, that true. Is in rough shape, that's all I know. Yeah, so yeah, cause that's the one thing because I always wonder in situations like this, like a zombie apocalypse, imagine if this was going on to the whole entire world. Our world would basically be dead at that point. Like it would be the walking globe at that point, if you catch my drift. But no, seriously though, like luckily this is all only happening in this is all happening in Atlanta. So luckily this isn't happening to the world. Um, that one zombie is his brother or something. Yeah, that's why he looks identical. He looks just like Lee. So it must be his brother. So anyways, what can we do? So it seems like we can't really do much. Oh, actually, let's hop the dog. Uh, we should search that guy over there. Or how do you end up? Actually, yeah, how do you end up here? How do you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. Ah. Uh, so you probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I'm gonna do my own thing. Um, I grew up here. I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Okay. That's good. And well, actually, um, I was just gonna say, we should search that guy over there. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here? He has a badge. Like you can tell he worked there. Um. So I okay. I think it's time we head back inside. Okay. Let's uh go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. Okay. Cause that, there's a high chance that that pharmacy employee probably has the keys. So anyways, now that we got a good glance of what's going on outside. Um, oh, photographs. I might see myself in here. That must be me right there. That must be me. That's gotta be me. All right, greeting cards, a whole bunch of stuff. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, oh. hun. Jeez, dude. All right, let's talk to them. I hope Duck's hey, okay. Lee. Hopefully he doesn't get gave sick. that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. No problem, Thank you, Lee. No problem. How's Duck doing? How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Good. No kidding. How's she doing? I should just tell them. Well, the family's dead, so. That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well. It's dark. I'm, she I'm sorry. She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. True. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. She's not wrong, though. She's not wrong. 
Um, I think Kenny and me would be bros in this situation if it was real. Yup, definitely for sure. No, actually, you know what? If let's okay, Aiden, let's say me and you were in this scenario. I was Lee and you was Kenny. We would definitely be bros to the end, man. I'm just letting you know right now. But in this scenario, you and Kenny would definitely be bros. I can I could definitely see that happening. So you guys okay? Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. We have. What's the plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? I don't know. I think they're gone, actually. Yeah, they, they probably are. There's a high chance they are. They're uh, gone. Oh, my goodness. Do you think? How? I just know, all right? Cat, it's not our business. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Yeah, sure. Anytime, Kenny. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. Oh. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened really fast. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. W advice. Console? Try to let it go. Oh, can whatever he said. Can remember your loyalty. Yo, Kenny's a real brother, man. Oh man. I'm just saying, there's a really high chance that Lee's family is. Oh, energy bar. Ooh. Hold on, let me take this. Okay, found something. Hopefully, it's still good to eat. I mean, if it's expired, I'm still gonna eat it anyway. All right, what's in here? Alive inside. Are we gonna open it? Oh! Okay. So, we're in the office now. Oh, Clem's behind me. Come on, Clem. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Yeah, they're definitely gone. Look at this, dude. This door leads to the back alley. We could probably go back there. But, um, oh my gosh. The pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. At least, I hope. Yeah, Kenny is a bro, and he does the hard things to keep his family alive. That's what W dads do. That's what a man does. Okay. There's a photo. Oh, pick it up. Oh, man. So that, he was my brother. Oh, man. Oh, come on, Lee. Find anything? Oh! Carly. Um, just, just a picture. Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. So you just gonna expose me like that and- Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? Nope. No, I've been sticking to first names for a reason. So you're just gonna expose me like that in front you of someone? You seem like time. an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. I'll just keep it to myself. Yes, ma'am. Thanks. Don't worry about it. 
Appreciate it, Carly. Ah, <sighs> Carly's kind of bad though. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say all that. I mean, I'd probably give her like a, like a seven out of ten. You let me know. <laughs> okay. Uh, is that everything else? Uh, oh, it's a first aid kit. First aid kit. Can I pick it up? All right. Well, is there anything in it? That's the main question. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Okay. Well, luckily, it does have stuff inside. Um, it's a pallet. Let's move this. What is that? Wait, what just fell? Oh, it's a cane. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. <laughs> My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Yes, they are. I love, and I, I do like that hat that Clementine has. Okay. We gotta clear this door for when we find the keys. Okay. All right. Let's move this out. Well, let, actually, yeah. Let's move this uh, desk out of the way. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? You want to help? Yeah. Sure. Definitely. Thanks for the help, Clem. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Okay. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah. It's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No. Yeah. It's not. But I think it'll be okay. That's the spirit cloud. Okay, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> there you go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Uh, let, let, let's just move this thing. Yeah, let's just... Let, I, let's just move this thing. Yeah, I'd rather not oh, talk about it. Okay. I'm sorry. No, it's it's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. It's okay. I mean, you never All right, know. A little further. It's fine. <sighs> it's more about being cool. With, it's more about her being cool with Lee. That's good to hear. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? No, they don't. Uh, should I just be straight up with her? I'm gonna just. I I gotta. I I I have to tell her. I'm sorry. Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. You didn't know. Yeah, I'm she just, just sorry for being mean. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. That's true. I'm going in some trouble. Well, actually, just I'm not. I'm a not bad a bad guy. guy. Okay. Things happen, and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Oh, you okay? Ow. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Yeah, it's bleeding. I'll find you a bandage. First aid kit. It's a good thing we have that, and it's a good thing it has something in it. We got a TV up there. Got a bandage. How are we doing over there? Okay, it still hurts. I got you. I got you. Don't worry, I got you. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Um, you know, just put a little bit of hydrogen peroxide on it to clean the cut, and the next thing you know, it's good to go. It's good to go, I mean. It's, it's good. Does it hurt when I do this? <laughs> A little, not too much. You sure? Yeah. Okay, hold on. All right, I got you. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. I really see Clementine Lee? as a really good daughter. Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Lee. I'm 
sure they'll. I'm sure they'll find they'll, us. They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? I really don't know how to break it down to her. I really don't know. Actually, actually, you know what? Let's let's talk more to Clementine. Let's talk more. I want to talk more. Um, everything seem okay. Well, actually, how have you heard from Glenn? Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Okay, and everything seems okay to you. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I won't try, I will. Keep that in mind. So, okay. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Okay, let's move, uh, let's see if we can open this door. Keys are on that zombie out on the street. Oh, okay. We gotta um, what's it called? We gotta open it. We gotta get. We gotta go outside now. We gotta unlock it. Alright, there's nothing in there. Oh wait, hold on. What? That wait. There was a there was a remote in there. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Ah, there we go. Yeah, cause I just realized there's a TV here. Let's see if we can turn it on. Oh, That's it works. That's what I figured. It works. I thought it wouldn't. I thought it would have worked for a second. Okay, uh, let's see what else we got. So I need to figure out how to open that door. Uh, let's talk a little bit more to Clementine. And how's your finger? How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Okay. She seems to be doing okay. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. All right. Jeez, man, that bleeding. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? No. I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Oh, yeah. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? He wasn't. I'm sorry. No, I, I had to. I, oh. I gotta be straight up. Was he bad? He was. He was very bad. I don't really remember. He is a bad. He is bad, but not bad if you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure we all catch a drift, Adam. So I think it's time we head to the. Well, before we head to another energy bar. Yo. Okay. Dang. Yo, I am stocked up right now. So I have two energy bars, a Rip Family photo, and a remote. All right. Let's. Oh, I can give her. I can give her one of these. Should I though? Actually, you know what? Let me let me talk to her first because I don't know if she deserves it yet. Let's talk to her. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I I I know you guys' names. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad. That didn't help. Jeez. Um. Well. Why, what's wrong with him, actually? I mean, he did get a heart attack, but, like, what's the problem? Is he on medication? What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Okay. Um, he does got a temper, though, I will say that. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! It's my point yeah, exactly. He doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? It's just that, yeah, we've got kids, you know, and stuff like that. Families, that's got true. kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. I'm just saying. Where's her mom? Oh, Clem. Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. She's a real survivor. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. 
I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Very. Um, you from here? You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here? Yeah, was anybody here? Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. yeah the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... More of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on Babysitter. The or whatever. This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and... Well, uh, I'm stuck. Stop. What do you mean you're stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. Okay, I'm nice. I'm hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah. You gotta help him. I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay. Okay. Hold on. So, I mean, I can already see what we need to do, so... Hold on. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so, it seems like we need to head on over to the motor inn, which I don't know exactly... I don't know exactly what the, uh, what's it called? I don't know exactly what, I, I don't remember exactly what we need to do to get over to the, to the motor. And I don't even know how we're going to get there. Like, do we have any tramp or do we have any, any sort of transportation? So hold on. Okay. Uh, I'm just, I'm taking care of something real quick, guys. Hold on. Don't judge me. Hold up, guys. Okay. All right. So and oh, and I still have these uh two, another energy bar. I got three now. Dang. Um and Aiden, I did get your message. Uh, you said can I give it to the kids? Um, actually, let, let let's do that. Actually, I mean I have three. I mean might as well figure out what to do with it. Here you go, Clem. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I mean, of course, Clem is gonna need it. Um, oh, wait, wait, which way can I go? Oh, I gotta go this way. Okay, you got a food box. Um, what's this? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. I'm sure I can fix it. Okay, so... Yeah, I can't... Wait, is the power switch on? Oh. Nothing. Wait, it probably runs on batteries. Flip it. Yep, it runs on batteries. We need some batteries. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. <laughs> I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Come on, now how could you not tell that there were no batteries in this thing? Like, be, be for real. Um. Oh wait, it, there's gotta be something in the food box. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. 
Okay. So, I need to... Right, let's find some batteries. Because maybe we can get some uh, updated info. Oh, wait! Oh, I see! A battery! There we go. Dang. <laughs> I didn't even see... I was just going to say, we need to find the batteries. Alright, so we have one. I'm assuming that thing takes two. So, where could the other battery be? Um... We just battery. need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Um, do our damage. Got another battery. All right. Um, can Duck have food? Yeah, actually, you know what? I was actually thinking about that. I mean, after what he's been going through, like, I got to give him something. Here you go. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. He's going to... And I still have one more. Um, who else can I give this to? Um, I kind of don't want to give it to Larry or Lily. These two seem to be going through a these team. These two seem to be going through a pretty dark time right now. So let's give one to Carly. Let's give one. Arm. And plus, she's gonna need that energy because she's gonna be helping us um, save Glenn. So hold on. Ah, I, I gotta go over here. So I'm gonna give her that energy bar, and then I'm gonna. Oh wait, can I? Oh, I can. Okay. All right. Here you go. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate that. All right, now, let's put the batteries in the radio. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Like, how, how could you not tell that the thing needed batteries? It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Come on, you don't know Go how to ahead. put you don't know how to put batteries in a radio? Come on, Carly. I thought you was smart. Okay. Now, let's open the battery door. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, the battery's already in. So, okay, she put the batteries in. She just didn't turn it on. Oh, wait, actually, are the batteries in, right? Okay. I think I think they're in. Oh, I see now. Plus Okay, she put him in wrong, and now you just need to turn it in. Or now you just need to turn it on, I mean. There you go. All right, you're going to get a special snake. For, uh, ah, you're going to get a special s snack or snake from her if you give it. Yo, I don't know. Can you elaborate on that, my man? I don't really know what you're saying. <laughs> okay, so, and we should turn it on, and it should be good to go. There we go. You fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death Easy. toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges all right, with all these energy bar snacks, got me over here hungry. Contact with individuals you suspect may mm. have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full, uh, my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones. Central High takes it. God bless you Maybe all. You go. Like years. Dang. Okay. I'll talk to Carly. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Dang. Okay, you ready to head out? You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. Alright, let's go help Glenn. They actually walked there? They didn't take like a car or a truck or something? Oh, snap. So you have your gun. I wouldn't recommend using a gun, though. You can use like a, like a wooden board or um, a crowbar or something. Did you see that? Sure did. Oh, you're going to get on Cardi's good side. Okay. Okay, good thing he's still alive. Good thing. All right, that wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. Yeah, we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. How are we suicidal? With or without you. Think about it if it was you. 
fine. Exactly. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Exactly. Come on now. Think outside the box. Okay, so we gotta save this one girl who's trapped. And where are we? Well, where am I at? So this is the area. There's a walker behind that car, which we have to be mindful of. There's one over there feasting on guts. And this okay, is where we are. This is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. Yeah, so how do we have to kill every one of them in here? Okay, good. Quietly, noise attracts these things. Yeah, don't use your gun. Look around. Yeah, that's what I was saying. We need to find like, like uh, some plier, like some pliers, like a, a crowbar, a sword, perhaps nunchucks. That would be a good weapon. So, um, all right. So we can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. Okay, so we're gonna run. All right, let's go. Crouch. All right, go, 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 go. Let's go. So we have to kill every single one of these things. Okay. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. Yeah, we can't use a gun. See, if we use a gun, we're oh snap. Okay, hold on. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself. Even if I had a weapon. Yeah, we, we need a weapon. Okay, we're probably gonna have to head on back. All right, let, let's go back. We, we need something. Okay, what's it? We need a gun. Well, we don't need a gun. Okay, we need a... Is there another route we can take? Let's go this way. Yeah, this way seems a, this way seems a lot more safer. Okay, let's go this way. Okay. All right, that one seems like it's dead, really. It's not moving. What's in here? I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. There's gotta be. Well, can I look up? And, ooh, a screwdriver! Okay, I'm about to punch the window. Alright, I don't know how hard this is gonna be, but come on. Ow. Oh! Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Alright, just can I do it again? Can I try again? Yeah, trying to punch out window. Yeah, because car windows are really hard to break. And on top of that, um, wait, what about here? Is there something in, um, oh, wait, no, 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 wait, I meant to look to the left. Is there something in the trunk over here? Some over here? All right, there's one right here. do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Okay, yeah, I, I can't look that way. Um. You need to find a weapon. I know, but I don't see any other weapon. I don't see another weapon anywhere. Um, I feel like I'm missing something though. Hold on, cause like I said, I played this before, but there's like there is a certain weapon that you get over here. Am I wrong? I'm not punching the window. I can't punch it. Uh, okay. I guess there's nothing here. All right, let's go this way. Wait, no, I keep going the wrong way. All right, we gotta go back. Let's keep looking around. All right. Uh. We we gonna go this way. All right, we gotta go back. Um, got that one. All right, let's run back. Okay. Um, wait, yo, I see something over there. Wait, hold on. There's like an axe. I see it's um. There's one over there um with that zombie. I don't know if you guys can see it on the on the top. Well, actually, no, you can't see it because my sub count's in the way. But where my sub count is, there's a zombie guarding an axe. That's what we need. Okay, see, I knew there was a weapon here somewhere. I just forgot where. Oh, a pillow? What am I gonna do with this? Well, I'm, what am I gonna do? Beat them to death with Good it? Luck smothering them to death. That's, That's what I'm exactly saying. What I have in mind. How am I gonna kill one with a pillow? Like, come on, man. Okay, we can use this pillow to kill the one that's around the RV, but I don't know how I'm gonna do that. How do you kill? How do you do this? All right, pillow. Pillow. I got one pillow and two corpses. An age-old problem. How am I going to do this? And I got one oh, oh, I can't do it. Okay. Two corpses. An age-old problem. Okay, yeah, I can't do that. We're going to need weapons. I have a pillow. What do you want me to do with this, dude? Okay, I need to do something. Uh, I am so lost. Wait, can I kill the one over there? Hold on. Can I kill? Wait, can I kill the one that's uh right there? I feel like I can. Or maybe, wait, maybe we can uh, do something with the one that's over here. So I have a pillow. So a pillow and two corpses, and two corpses. So I can take out this one easily because it's not doing much. Ask them a question. Oh, definitely. I'm going to ask them so many questions. You don't even know. 
All right, use a pillow on this one. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. All right. All right, ready? Smother it to death. Oh, there we go. That was sick. Smart. I like that. See, they barely heard that. I like that. I like that. Okay, that's one down. See, look at the axe over there. Okay. Um, can I? I don't want to push the car. Let's see if there's something inside. Anything? Oh, a spark plug. This could be useful. Pick it up. This could be useful. Um, unlock the gear shift. Am I about to start this car? What am I gonna do? It's a spark plug. It's a spark, spark plug. plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, what can I do over here? Uh, no, I'm not running back over there. Um, what can I do? All right, let's push the car, I guess. Push it. Oh, run it over! Run it over! Run it over! Let's go! Oh! Awesome. Dang! Oh my gosh! Level one thousand stealth level. Okay. All right. There's a screwdriver in there, but I have a spark plug. Wait. Oh, can I use the spark plug on the window? Can I use this? Oh, I can. All right. Let's use it. And what? Let me see the spark plug. Okay. What's inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Oh. So a tiny piece of that can do a lot of damage to a car window. All right. Here we go. Did they hear that? Nope, they didn't. They just really, they really want to get inside. All right, screwdriver. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Had that in mind. All right, so which one am I gonna take out now? All right, I know exactly what to do now. So we're gonna, so we're gonna head back over here. So we're gonna head back. I want to get that axe. So we're gonna head back over here. We're gonna go take out that zombie. Um, because now that there's no longer two, there's only one, so I could easily take out one. So I'm gonna take out one zombie, which is over there. This one zombie, however, I feel like I can easily take him out. I mean, like, he's so occupied right now. He's not even gonna see it coming. All right, screwdriver. All right, be careful, all right, here we go. He's coming, he's coming. Dana, 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 oh! Oh, stab him again! Oh, stab him in the eye! Oh, I thought that. Oh my gosh! Oh, what the? Get him! Get him! Oh! Oh! Nice! Good job! For sure! Let's go! Good job! Alright, we took them all out! And we got the axe! Let's go! Wait, let me, let me stab this dude real fast. There we go! Oh! Nice. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's cool. Now we've got this. Yes. Are you two done? Alright, let's go. Give me that axe. Two more. That two should more. help. This definitely help. Alright, let's go. Right, let's go up the stairs. Alright, two birds, one stone. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. All right, good. All right, let's go up. All right, time to go. Okay. My question is, like, is he going to attack him in one swing or is it going to be multiple swings? All right, come on. All right, come on. Let's go. And here comes the big slice. And come on. Slice. Oh! All right, and you get an axe too. Go! Oh! Rat. Heads done. All right. Now, hopefully, this lady does not go berserk, because I don't know how she's gonna react. All right. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. Yeah, she is traumatized. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. She's in trouble. 
She's in trouble? This, we're coming in. Alright. Alright, use the axe. Use the axe. Wait, dude, what are you doing? What what oh I meant to press the axe thing, my bad. You might want to break through that board first. Yeah, you don't say, Glenn. Alright, brick it. There we go. Alright, now kick it down. Kick it down. I still can't get in? Stop, just stop! I'm coming out. Oh, okay, she's coming out. Good, good, good. Oh. You're hurt. Oh god. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late. Oh no, she's been Guys, bit! She's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. Oh. You have no. a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. So what if she has please, a boyfriend? Just leave me, please go. Come on. What if you turn and come after us? What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know, that was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. Yes. So can I borrow it? No. You mean borrow? No, she's gonna Give Oh to no, me. she's gonna off herself. I can just you know, end this, and then, and then there's no. no please problems. don't do that. Don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. No, don't do I that. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Yeah, but no, no, please. I can't. We let can't you. let you do that to yourself. Yeah, we can't and let her do, do it that. For me. We need to get going. That would have been. That would not be suitable. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please step back. It's just two seconds. Just one bullet. No, we're and not doing that. Be with it. my family, and it'll all be fine. No, I can't. Back up. Please. Oh my god. Chill. Uh oh. Oh. My god. Oh. oh, ow. I can't let her do that. No, that would not be suitable. Whoa, take it easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Help. You can't. Oh no! Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. Please. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! 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 Oh, oh no. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, Glenn. Let's get out of here. Jeez. Oh, gee, wait. Here they come. What noise were there? What what noise did we make? How did that attract them? Get in. Okay. We out. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out of won't survive anymore. Oh, so yeah, we still gotta get to the pharmacy. Is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Yes, I forgot about that. We still gotta do that. Alright. Let's get started then. Alright, so now. I'm trying to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? Alright, Doug. How are we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Um, not now. We we need to um. Not now. Wait, we All need right. to um. We gotta talk to Glenn because he did set up the lock, so he knows the combination. So we have to head out there to get the um, get to the pharmacy. Where is he? Where's Glenn? Oh, there he is. All right, let's go. How you doing, Glenn? You know. All right. Um, back at the motor end. Back at the motor end. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. That's good to hear, Glenn. I guess she really wanted that gun. She did. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? People can't be... I mean, would you? Would you have given it to her? No way. Then you know why. Yeah, do you know the combination? 
Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Oh yeah, I do have an axe. But I'm not gonna break it. What's, What's your next, your next move? move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Alright. I think it's time to head on out now. I mean, am I really gonna break the lock though? Oh, it's the other way. Am I really gonna have to break it though? I don't know. Alright, let's go. Alright. Come on, Doug. How are we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Yup, let's do it. Let's have a look around. Okay. Oh, I actually can break it. What? Um, I don't know about that, though. I'll probably make a lot of noise. So I got an axe and... What is that, the remote? I can't use the remote on that, but... I can use it on the TV store. Does that even work, though? Let, let's, let's try it. I, I want to see what this does. Nope, it doesn't work. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? What? You gonna throw it? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. Ooh, that's smart. You could just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Okay. Alright, now does it work? It works! Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Nice. Okay, does that... It attracts them. Oh, so now we can get to the pharmacy. That a makes so much sense. Wow. I forgot about not that. Because we had to... Do oh, it's not enough, though. Okay. So what can I do now? Uh... Should I just use the axe? I feel like I should just use the axe, but he did hey, say man, I'm also breaking doing? it. We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. I got an axe. I'm going for it. Let's do it. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Okay, maybe. We, okay, good. Actually, we can't do that. All right, so. If that's not enough, what can we do now? Oh, a brick! I can't reach that brick. Dude, can you, uh, what's it called? Uh, do you think. No, those things like TV. Those things like TV. There's a brick, the though. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. I, I can't reach the brick, though. I need this. I need that brick. I can't reach that brick. Okay, the TV's on, and we got a brick, but. How do I freaking... I, and look, I can't use a remote on the lock. That's not how that works. Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. I keep saying the same thing. Um... So what can I do? I need that brick, though. Um... I don't want to head back inside. Um... I, I I say we go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. Maybe um, maybe Glenn will um be willing to come out. But that brick we need. All right, so we're gonna I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to Glenn because he might he might have a way to get that brick. You all right, Lee? I'm okay. Thanks. Oh. Okay. So how am I supposed to get the brick? I need it. Like, how am I supposed to get it? Carly? Hey, Carly. Um... Story of the Century. Are you okay? That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You're really fine. All of your colleagues are probably dead. You don't think I know that? Of course I'm not fucking fine. God, Lee, just 
leave me alone. Sorry, sorry, Carly. I didn't mean to. You know, I'm gonna have your to grind your nerves like that. I'm sorry. Okay, what can I do? I need. Okay, so if I can't reach the brick, then what can I do? There's gotta be some other way for me to get. Wait, the crane. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I can use the crane. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I just remembered. There's a cane in here. I said crane. Cane. Yeah, there's a cane. Can I pick it up? Hold on. Oh, but I can also use the axe. <laughs> nah, that door is way too strong. I can't do it. Can I pick up this, um... No, I can't, I can't pick it up. Um... So, how exactly do I freaking get that brick? I can't reach it. I have no idea. Um, hey, yo, Jackalope, what's good, man? Welcome to the stream. You know, I was expect I was expecting you to show up one day or another, because if you didn't, we'd have a little bit of a problem. But um, as you can see, I'm a little stuck right now because um, so we need so I'm trying to get to the pharmacy. Only problem is we're surrounded by walkers, and another problem is we're trying to distract them. And the only way for me to do that is I need to find a freaking, I need to find uh, what's it called I need to like I need to get okay. Oh, you'll you'll, you'll see when I get up. Um, I come outside. Want to go have a look around outside? All right, let's go outside. Let's have a look around. But you'll okay. you'll see what I'm talking about. So look, here's the thing. This brick, I can't reach that brick. I can't reach it, and that TV, for some odd reason, I can't like. I don't know what to do here. I'm stuck. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up, and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. So I've been trying to figure this out, and I can't do anything with the lock. Oh, uh, oh, wait. What's this? That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. I just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Okay. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. See, it's the brick. Hopefully I can pick it up now. Uh, video game logic. In real life, any normal person would just stick their hand between the bars. That's what I'm saying. Like, bro, what are you saying? What do you mean you can't reach it? Can I get it now? I can't reach that brick. What can I do? I'm so... I'm so confused right now. Um, I don't want to go back in. See, I need to freaking get that brick. Those TVs are on. And I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. What else can I do? I'm so lost. Um, no, I am so confused. I can't reach that brick. Can I move around? No, I can't move around. I am so confused. Okay, I mean, I guess we can Let's head, back, head inside. back inside. Okay, May okay, maybe, maybe there's something that I'm missing indoors. There's got to be something. I know I'm missing something, man. I just don't know what it is. All right, what was he saying? Um, what about the radio? The radio we fixed, so that's fine. Um, distract the zombies with the TV. Wait, distract the zombies with the TV so they go away from the brick. But the TVs are already on though. It's not doing anything. That's what I picked up from. That's what that's what I picked up from that at least. Yep, yeah, that's what we did. The TV is on, but it's not creating a lot of disturbance. So there's got to be some other and as you can see, that brick I need to get, but for some odd reason, he's saying he can't even reach a brick. So, is it something I'm missing? I like I'm genuinely lost right now. So I'm a little stuck right now. Okay, uh, just wait for daytime and they'll start burning. Yeah, I don't think that's how games work, Jack. I don't think that's how they work. I don't know, man. You tell me. So, 
Hold on, I'm gonna try again. But, okay. Newspaper, nothing. There's nothing in the food box. There's nothing in there. And I have an axe, like, why don't I just use that? See, video game logic doesn't make any sense. How are we doing? Good. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Look around outside. That's what I was saying. Hold on. Let's have a look around. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, can you use the axe to reach it? I. That's what I was saying. Like, I have an axe. Why can I not use that to reach it? And I can't even get out of here. I can't reach that brick. Like, how? What do I do here? Those TVs are on. And I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Dude, we I don't even how long have we been stuck on this part? As long as they're not wearing a helmet. Those TVs are on. And I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. But the TVs aren't doing much. So what exactly can I do? A few seconds of searching and we'll know if he has the keys. What can I do? Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. God, I can't reach the brick though. I can't reach that brick. What do I do? I am so confused. Like, chat, can you help me out here? I'm so lost. I, I genuinely don't know what to do. I'm stuck. It's just one of those things where you get stuck and then you don't know what to do. Um, ask the others maybe. Maybe. I mean, that's gotta be something. Uh, do you think we're safe here? I guess. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore is safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it walks up well. I didn't do much. Alright, I guess. Oh, man. I can't I, reach that brick. I really need that brick. Let's head back inside. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Maybe there is an item inside. And I thought it was the cane, but no, that's not it. So it's not the cane. It's gotta be something. All right, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna just go ahead and keep. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to talk to people. So hold on. I'm gonna talk to Lily a little bit more. Hey. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Oh, okay. Um, well, that was quick. She, I, she wouldn't even let me talk. Okay, there's gotta be something though, man. Something at least. Um. Who can I talk to? I've talked to Glenn. Talked to everybody else, but what can, who and what what do I do here? Wait, oh I was gonna say. And I also just remembered about the whole uh spark plug thing, but I can't use that, so um it's gotta be something there's gotta be something. Something in the office, something anywhere I can use to reach for the brick. What exactly do I do here? Wait, what's this? Uh, can I just pick it up or something? Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Okay, I can't get anything from there. From the TV. That's what I figured. That works. Um, I am genuinely confused right now. I can't use... See, this cane though, this cane would really help out. If I can pick it up, that is. So maybe they're maybe okay. Hold on. Oh man, I am so confused. We've been stuck on this for like what seven minutes by now. God, Larry's freaking about to pass out. I'm trying to get the brick. It's not letting me. I don't know, bro. And I don't want to look it up. But I feel if I get stuck for like a whole another hour, then I have no choice. Um, my idea would be to get a flare and throw it away. Wait, get a flare. And throw it far away so the zombies run to it while I get while I go get the brick, but I have no idea about this game. Can you use the axe on the lock? I tried that. It's not they won't let me use it. And Glenn even told me I'm better off breaking it, but this is all he has to say. You alright, Lee? I'm okay. Thanks. That's all he has to say. So I that's like my only option right now. That's like the only thing I can do. Hold on, Carly, please. Hey there. Um, sorry of the scenery here. Um, oh, story, no, no, oh, uh, you handle yourself well. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. 
and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. And uh, what goes around comes around. That guy saved that you. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> um, how'd you end up here? How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. I'll go outside again. I'm gonna go outside later on. For our favorite group? Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio? That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah. I will. I got you. Oh, wait. Oh, I, I didn't mean to click that. So, I can't reach the brick, but that's like my only way of getting to it. So, I need to figure this out. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's go. Let's have a look around. Okay. Alright, so... I am still a little lost. Like, is there something on the ground or something else I need to pick up? That, that brick is my only option, but I can't pick it up. And I literally... Oh, I guess I could talk to him more. What's everyone like in there? Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice. Uh, let me no. see all the options. <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad... Yeah. That guy. He's kind of a dick. Alright, I'm gonna look to it. Pardon my French. It's saying take it, but I can't reach that brick. I can't reach it for some bizarre reason. And I I don't know how to get it. That's the problem. And I need that brick. So like how else am I supposed to get it if I can't reach it? And I know and I have a feeling I know what he's gonna do with the brick, and I can't freaking use the axe on the lock. So like what else can I do here? Like, I am so... I'm so lost. Uh, try using all the items. Okay. It's a combination lock. Combination lock. I can't open it. Oh, wow! Are you serious? Now he wants to try it? Distract those things. Carefully. Oh, my... We've been stuck on that part for at least maybe seven minutes. Come on, yo. I am so sorry. Okay, now I can get the brick. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I gotta open this first. Okay, open it. Yo, I am so sorry, guys. I am extremely sorry. I'm sorry, chat. Alright, pick it up. Take the brick. Okay, and... Those yeet TVs it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. All right, and eat the brick. Yeet. Come on, throw it. Throw it. And... Ugh. There we go. Finally. Jeez. He can't make up his mind, apparently. Yeah, he really can't. Now it's making a lot of noise. And they really like those TVs. Now's the time. Now's the time. We can get to the pharmacy. Finally, after taking our sweet time. Alright, he has the keys. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Alright. Keep an eye out. Alright. Oh, man. Yo, Ripley. Or his brother, I mean. Hey, bud. If you were there, you would have died for the life. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Do I really have to do this? Give me a second. Hold on, man. Give me a minute. I'm taking my time. So, who are you liking in the group room the most? I don't know, man. I'm sorry I wasn't sorry. there. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you were to take care of him, bro. 
Uh, who am I liking so far? I would say Kenny. Kenny, I'm actually liking a lot in the group. Come on, just do it. Come on. Oh, jeez, I have to do it. I can't. Oh, ah, right in the neck bone. Right to your neck bone. Oh no. Oh, I was gonna say. Hope he doesn't make a lot of noise. I'm gonna need you to shut up. How is he not dead? Are you dead now? One more time. There we go. Oh my, bruh. He just hit. Oh, in the head. Okay. Finally. Okay. Oh, sheesh. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> and I got an achievement for that. Okay. I'm so sorry, man. Got the keys? There we go. All right, good. Now let's get into the store, get the pills. Let's head back inside. Holy crap! Run! Wait, they're coming back? Oh no! Okay, run! Get back inside. Oh wait, I can't lock it. Oh no! no. Oh no! I broke the lock. I'm dead. We're dead. We're dead. Man, that was close. That was really close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Hopefully they won't be able to try to get in. Because the lock's broken, so they can easily get inside. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Let's go. Finally, after, like, what was that, nearly 30 to 15 minutes? Okay. Let's get inside, and, yeah, let's do this. Let's go. All right, let's get the pills. Oh. Oh no. Oh, no. Hurry. Bro, it's a crack the noise. You gotta hurry. Oh, they're gonna hear it. Jeez. This is not good. Looks like you... Oh. <laughs> hey, man, wasn't my fault, okay? Don't blame me. Oh my gosh. Dude. He's... We're dead. We're dead. Oh no. Doc, come on, baby. Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up right back. Good. H hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I'm gonna get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Come on. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. Okay. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. Okay. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my All right. truck. Here you go. Here you go, Why man. That door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Come on. Hold it. Away from the windows. Oh, snap. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. What am I supposed to do? Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hey, Lee. If you don't make it through this, you should know that it's... You're a great guy. Appreciate it, Doug. Okay, we'll make it through this. We will make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. Oh my god! Push it! Push! Push it! I should know what? Huh? I said I should know. Say it! Oh no! Are you sure? Shit. Run! Shit. Woo. Okay, then. Okay. Give it time. Can you look for something that's big in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Okay. F find something. Oh, push the door. Mm. Give it time. Did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. The window is screwed. Go. Okay. Run, go. Run, Doug. I got the door. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. There we go. I found something. The cane. Oh, pick it up, pick it up. Okay, put it through the door, put it in the door. Put it in. There we go. Smart. Smart coming to Oh no, Doug. Doug! I have to choose. I have to no, I have to choose! I can't. What do I do? See, Carly has a gun, but Doug is unarmed. Oh gosh. Save Doug or Carly. Oh no. What do I do? Another tough decision. 
I can either save Doug or Ky or or Carly. I mean, oh jeez, I don't know what to do. This is why Kenny is this is why Kenny is the bro, and he always takes charge and forms a good plan. That is true, but this is all on my choice. See, here's the thing: Carly has a gun, and she. I I think I'm assuming she's I'm assuming she's out of ammo, but Doug he's arm he doesn't have anything, and it's it would be a waste to see him go. But Carly though, she's she's really tough, and we're gonna need more of that energy. So we're gonna have to go for we're gonna have to go for Carly. We're gonna have to go for her. Okay, which way? Come on, come on, save her. Come on. All right, go. Oh, there you go. Oh, good job. Doug! Oh, no! Oh, my God. Let's go! Oh. No, go to time! Get off her! No, stop! Get off her! Oh, my gosh, run! Go, 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 go. Uh, Son of a bitch. Oh. No. What, what are you doing? My guy. Okay, I you know, I thought Larry was a good guy, but no, I take that all the way back. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Thank you, Kenny. Let's go. Especially a good friend. Yo, heads up to Kenny, man. This is why I say Kenny's a good guy, bro. Yo, big, yo, huge thank you to Kenny, because I would have been dead there. Yo, Larry really tried to kill me. Hey, at least you, at, at least now you got a lady friend to keep you warm. I mean, you do realize I could be friends with a girl and, you know, have nothing going on, right? Just stacking bodies. This must be very, very traumatizing for Clementine. Bro, Larry really tried to kill me. And, he's, and on top of that, he sucker punched me. Oh, man. Where are those gunshots coming from? But it does sound like other people is getting freaking attacked. Okay. Oh man. Oh, the fruit snap. Jeez, it's just like those certain situations where you just don't know what to do, and then you start panicking, and then next thing you know, you make the wrong decision. Oh jeez, dude. Yo, but where's Larry? At? I'm gonna confront him, cause bro really tried to kill me. He tried to leave me. Hmm. Hey, Glenn. I'm trying to listen to the radio. I think I need to go. What do you mean you need to go? Yeah, I got friends there. I just <laughs> can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. That's true. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. That is true, man. You be careful out there. I say you should do it, man. You gotta, you gotta have your friends back. You gotta help them. I think that's the wrong call. You gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. Exactly. I respect that. You I guys be safe. I respect that. You gotta do what you gotta do, bro. Just be be careful out there, bro. That probably wasn't the right decision, but it's best if he does. It's best that he does what's best for him and his friends, and I respect that. All right, but yo, where's Larry? I need to confront him. Where is he? I I saw him hey, earlier. Kid. Oh, inside the camp. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. 
We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Earlier, I uh, mentioned you gotta ask yourself what you're gonna do if Clementine's parents don't show. Yeah, you did. You think that's gonna happen? Her parents showing up? No, I don't. Well, I want you to know that I think you've got it in you. I think you can take care of that little girl just fine. Appreciate that, Thanks, Kenny. Kenny. You got that's it. Why I say Kenny? That's why I say Kenny's a real one. He's a real homie. All right. No, let me. I I have to confront Larry, bro. Cause ain't no way you finna do me like that. Ooh, a bottle of water. Can I pick it up? Okay, I can't. I can't. Uh, can't. I can't go this way. Where can I go? Okay, can't go that way. Oh my gosh. This is insane. I can't go this way. Where, where can I go? Oh, I can talk to Carly. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. You, oh, you think? I sh I'm sure he liked you, too. Well, I'm sure he liked you, too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Good question. I was trying, I was planning on helping you. I thought you needed the help. Ah, oh, that makes sense. I pressed the wrong button. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. I just, it was a choice, and I just, I couldn't make up my mind. Ah. Let me talk to these two Clementine and Duck. You guys okay? I'm gonna get you, boy. Larry, I'm Super finna get you. Toast. Just you wait. You I'm finna what? get you. He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck. Uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay. Sorry. That's fine. I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. Oh. I was there though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Oh. Glenn had the other one. It broke. Oh. I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Aww. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. I mean, maybe we can fix Lee, it. Come here for a second. Oh, let me go deal with this. Yeah, let me let me deal with oh, him. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. Duck, can you not please? What do you want? What do you want, boy? You like my daughter? She's fine. She's fine, fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are. Of course, and you I know do. you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step on a line once, and so will everyone else. Ooh, I, I just know wanna... who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Larry, man, hey, you are Lee, so glad. Do you have a second? Oh, we were just having a talk about you. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. It's good to know, man. It's good to know. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Oh, no. It's a blackout. That's it.
to be continued. Oh man, that was so much. Next time on The Walking Dead. Yo. What's going on time I doing? thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Yo, the second episode is gonna be crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are the results. Uh lie to Herschel, 36 players percent. Uh Ducker Sean, 49. So that was nearly 50-50 of people who wanted to save Sean as well. Loyalty. That should be at least like 80%. Because I know everybody was taking Kenny's side. Uh gave Ireland the gun. 50, 55% of players refuse to give it the, give the gun, which I'm actually surprised of. Because I feel like most people would just want to put her out of her misery. And who would you say if Duck or Carly? 76% of players chose Carly. Of course. Of Why didn't I see that coming? Of course. Wow. That was insane. That was only the first episode. Dude. See, because like I said, I've played the first season before. I played the whole thing, and I played a little bit of the second season, but I've never played the third or the fourth one. But this one, I don't remember any of it because it's been like nearly four years, four years since I've even touched this game or even seen this game. Like I remember back when this game was popular back in like, what was it, 2014 or 2015, like when it was popular and whatnot, you know, people and all that stuff. Yeah, clap it up. Everybody clap that up. And we went through so much already in the first episode. We made two very difficult choices. We had to say we had to either save Sean or Doug, or we had to save Doug or Carly. And that just comes to show how much of a how, that really comes to show how much of this um, this series is really going to be on choice base. Because that's what I'm saying. Games like this make you feel like you're in a movie, and it's like whatever choice you make, it will always come back to haunt you. But at the same time, like, you just don't know how to react. And it's like, you really feel that experience. Like, you're really in a film. But at the same time, it's more it's more connected to reality. Like, if you know what I mean? So, either way, though, that was insane. Uh, can I skip this? Can I skip this? Uh, no, I don't think I can skip this. But, oh my gosh. That had to be the... <laughs> That would be one of the craziest episodes I've ever went through. And this is only the first episode. So I can just imagine what the second episode is going to be like. I can even imagine the choices and the people that we have to maybe try to save in the next episode. So stay tuned for that in the next stream. 2000, oh, 2012? Dang, that's old. I don't even remember. Because I thought this game came back. I thought this game came out back in 2014 or 15. But no, I was wrong. Okay, so um dang we've been this has been going on for two hours for two and a half hours. Um you gonna stream tomorrow? Yes. Um like I said, I'll be doing daily streams almost every night. Um however though, um I'm gonna be having a few family members come by tomorrow, so hopefully I should be able to I hope I should be able to stream tomorrow night. I don't know about the disturbance, so I don't know what's going to happen or whatever. But I'll see. I'll see if I can stream tomorrow. And for tomorrow, I do plan on streaming. Now, Aiden, keep this in mind. What game you think? Yeah, I was, I was just going to get to that. The game I do plan on streaming is Terraria with you and another friend of mine. His name is Forrest, and he's a, he's a Terraria fanatic. He loves the game. So 
Um, and I want him to, uh, I want you to invite him to, because he also plays on PC. I want you to invite him to the world that we've been playing for literally like months. Like every time we play that game, we play that game for like four hours. So, and it'd be really, we'd be getting hectic. We'd be fighting a whole bunch of bosses. We'd be uh, fighting armies. We'd be fighting a lot of stuff. So it would be cool for him to join us. So yeah, definitely for sure. So next stream, if it's possible, I'll let you know. And hopefully I can get in contact of Force to, um, let him know if um, he can join us. So, anyways, that was The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 1, A New Day. That, by far, had to be one of the most craziest and most intense story-based games. And... And how, like I was saying at the beginning on how every single episode, like if it's not as long as like three to four hours or whatever, then we're possibly going to do two episodes like optionally. But I mean, we've been streaming for two and a half hours and I don't even think we can go on. So and on top of that, it's been it's right now it's 1126 a.m. So it's about to be midnight and I don't really plan on streaming for too long. So we're going to end it there. So thank you guys so much for joining another live stream of mine. And also, big shout out to everybody that went to the previous stream, which was the very first Twitch stream. And big shout out to the big shout out to the homies that donated in the last stream. That, by far, was the most legendary moment. And I, like, I, because I did not expect this uh, Twitch journey to really even go too far ahead and even though i don't really have that much of a fan base you know just the more you work towards your goal and the more consistent you go for the more people will start to see like your talent and what you can do they're like oh this guy he, he's pretty funny you know i actually like this guy and then you start to rake in more you start to rake in more of an audience so more consistency so basically more consistency and the more the more consistent you get the more people actually actually get to see your talent people that like people who are actually interested in what you on what you inspire or what you love doing or whatever so that's just something that i want to keep doing and this twitch streaming i've been wanting to do this for years but i've never been able to and the walking dead was something i wanted to stream for a very very long very long time um it's just i was i never had the right equipment i tried to do this on my phone years ago and it was terrible i was always getting interrupted my phone would die my phone would overheat and my mom would start yelling at me all at once it was all terrible but now that i finally have all the requirements to do so so be sure to stay tuned for episode two and i have a whole bunch of other story games planned up such as you know undertale uh and like I said earlier, I want to continue Minecraft Story Mode, The Wolf Among Us, um, Batman Telltale. I will be playing a lot of Telltale games. And I have more bangers coming out, so you guys be sure to stay tuned for that. So anyways, um, you gotta get bi you, you're gonna get big if you keep this up, man. I know, bro. I just, it's gonna happen eventually, and I'm just waiting for that day to come. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this stream, and if you did, then please be sure to follow me right now if you haven't, and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Be sure to follow me on all of my social media platforms, which is over there. Be sure to check me out on my YouTube channel, my Instagram, and my TikTok, and hopefully TikTok doesn't go down before that happens. But any Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much. So, like I said, thank you so much for everybody that came through. And this, like I said, this is going to be one hell of a journey. So, I'm genuinely looking forward to this. And honestly, this is like a nostalgia trip because I'm actually revisiting a game that I haven't played in nearly four years. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this stream. And if you did, then please be sure to follow me on Twitch. And be sure to subscribe to all my social media links. And for my YouTube, for my YouTube viewers, subscribe today to see more on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And... I'll see you guys in the next stream. Bye, guys.